Good morning everyone, so today I'm not going to be working on the van. I'm pretty much run out of materials now and I haven't really got the money to buy any more. So I've kind of got a plan, once I get my distributor back I'm actually planning on going back home to Sussex and finding some work there for the time being just to finish the van off because the work at the campsite is coming to an end because uh, once the holiday season ends so does the work. So today I'm actually going to be going to the beach and I'm taking this with me. So this is an underwater filming case for the camera that I'm holding right now. So yesterday I went to the beach and it was beautiful, beautiful weather. The water was very, very clear and I went swimming around these beautiful rock pool areas and I thought I wish I had my camera with me. So I thought I'll go back today. High tide is at half eleven, it's just five past nine now so I've got fairly good time. I'm going to have some breakfast and I'm also going to do something, uh, prepare something which is quite exciting. So this is what I've got that's exciting. Inside here is a miniature scuba tank. So here's the regulator, here's the actual tank itself. So this requires air to be pumped into it and believe it or not you actually do that with what basically looks like a bicycle pump. So these miniature scuba tanks are made by a company called Smacko or Smacko, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. And literally it's just a 3000 PSI scuba tank. It gives you about 10 to 15 minutes dive time. You hold the regulator in your mouth so the tank literally just stays in front of you. Um, it does have a pressure gauge on it, um, but if you're going to check that whilst you're underwater you have to take it out of your mouth. You have to look and then you have to purge the regulator which means you lose air and these have such a small capacity you don't really want to do that but uh, i won't be diving very deep i probably won't dive beyond 15 feet really with one of these um, they're a little bit controversial in the world of scuba divers because you don't have to have a license uh, to buy one of these or to use one of these which means if you haven't had any scuba training you go out and buy one of these you go diving you could get into trouble, you could even have a fatality in an extreme case depending on what you do if you try and dive too deep or whatever and uh, obviously there's things like compression sickness, the bends and all of that. However, I am not completely inexperienced with scuba diving, I have done it. Um, so I won't be pushing my luck, I'm only going very shallow water for a very short amount of time, there's no need to de uh, do any decompression. Um, stops when you're just 10-15 feet for 10-15 minutes or so. So anyway, I'm going to be using this so I can actually stay down and hopefully get some good footage of the local wildlife and areas if I can find any and uh, yeah, see what I can find with it. Oh yeah, these are ridiculously hard to pump up. I have to do them in several stages. It's not like pumping up a bicycle wheel. This is 3000 PSI. It takes a long time. So to pump one of these up, it's literally a case of pumping this like a bicycle pump, except it's um, quite high pressure. On the end of the hose here, we've actually got a filter, so this is an oil filter. So any kind of oil and stuff that you don't want to be inhaling, that this might pump in, or try and pump into the tank, um, gets caught in this simple filter here. And then this just attaches onto the end of the scuba tank, like that and then you just start pumping until the little dial is all the way up on the top of the green and then it's good to go. You may think, oh it's not that difficult to pump up one of those, I use bicycle pumps all the time, but as I said earlier, 3000 PSI as opposed to like 60, it's a lot of pressure and I watched a few reviews on these and I think it's over something like 1600 pumps before this is actually up to pressure but every time you pump it, it gets slightly harder so there's more resistance each time and after 20 minutes of doing this and you're only halfway up, you're pretty much spent so I have to kind of do it in stages um, once it's there, it's there but after spending I don't know, between an, a half an hour to an hour, depending on how many stops I take, um, and you pump it up, to get 10 minutes or 15 minutes dive time, you kind of think, is it worth it? But of course, when you're actually underwater and stuff, you think, yeah, it is. You can get electric pumps to pump these up, but they're very, very expensive, because they have to be such a high pressure pump. Oh. 
I'm not even in the green yet. Okay, so the scuba tank is now pumped up. Uh, I lost count of how many pumps, but I'm exhausted. Anyway, time to go down to the beach. What's quite interesting here, to get from this beach to the other one, rather than going down that way, they've tunnelled a hole through the cliff. Okay, so I'm down at the uh, local harbour. It's, it's really cool down here, I've been a number of times. And uh, I'm just going to be walking beyond the harbour to an area that's a lot quieter, where there are some rocks and things to dive around, so I'm nearly there now. just climbing some of these rocks at the moment, um, getting down to the beach where I shall do some diving hopefully. <laughs> Almost everywhere I walk on the coast here in South Wales it's just so picturesque and beautiful, you know. And there's all these kind of like hidden things like caves and rocks to climb, rock pools to look at and areas to swim and dive. It's just so beautiful around here. I'm definitely gonna miss it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm ready to do some underwater filming, but I've done something very stupid. After pumping up the scuba tank, I've actually forgotten to pack it. So I've got my underwater filming case, so I just have to hold my breath. Um, but that's really, 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 really annoying. So I might have to come back tomorrow with the scuba tank and try again. <laughs> Never mind. If I walk back now, I'm going to miss high tide. Okay. Right, let's get out onto the water.
so I'm just heading on home now. It's about just one, two mile walk back home. Um, it's quite a nice walk through the woods and then it's uh, up through a lot of farmland all uphill, but uh, that's all right. Um, I can't believe I forgot to bring the scuba tank with me. That was just stupid after spending all that time this morning pumping it up. But maybe it was just as well because the conditions in the water weren't right. It was too choppy, it was too murky. So I got some good rock pool footage in the end anyway, so that was fine. Now I have come down to the beach again. Um, the water is still really choppy, um, but I do actually have my scuba tank with me, so I'm going to swim out um, fairly deep and just see if I can find anything. I imagine the footage is just going to be murky water, but uh, there's no harm in trying, and I fancy a swim anyway, to be honest. So I've climbed up some rocks here where I'm going to put my bag so I can see it when I'm out in out at sea and uh, I've put rocks in my pockets so this is uh, they're quite big ones both sides just to give me some kind of uh, ballast so I can stay neutrally buoyant underwater um, if they're too heavy I just take them out of my pocket um, so yeah this should be good fun I've returned to my camper van after a not such a successful diving trip, but I was determined to get in the water and get some footage of anything. Um, but the waves were very, very choppy, the current was really strong, and the water was murky, so I didn't stand a chance really. But um, I'm hoping in future episodes um, I'll be able to find some really beautiful places to film underwater and if, if the van is close by because I've got it all up and running and I've got my scuba tank here all my filming equipment and I'm like oh wow look at this beach it's all it's like a, a dew pond and it's crystal clear and lots of wildlife good job I've got all my equipment with me but at the moment I have to walk several miles just to get to the beach um, and I don't really know what the conditions are like until I get down there so anyway I've come back I've had a shower and I've desalted myself I've got myself a nice cup of tea here. Mm. So I guess I'll just try again another time, but uh, still. Thanks guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. And uh, yeah, see you then.